All right, so welcome back, everybody. So for this video, I'm going to be unboxing Lands of Galzer. Man, this is a ginormous box. Now, this game is from uh, Snowdale Design, and they've made only a few other games. They've made four different uh, Dale of Merchants games, which technically you can combine them all into one collect massive collection. But they also made another one called... Uh, Dawn of Peacemakers as well, which I have not played. So this is their third game they've made that basically takes place in the same world that uh, Dale of Merchants would have as well. It's going to have lots of animal folk involved. You can definitely see there's some animal folk in the background on this beautiful cover. And obviously here too. Um, but man, it's just a massive game. Now this is a campaign game that you can play with one to four players. Now, I probably won't be introducing this game to my friends for quite some time, but I plan on playing this game by myself quite a bit. Now, before I open up this ginormous box, I also got the Lands of Galizer playmat as well, with a nice bag to put it in. So let's take a look at this playmat first. Since it's so massive, it's got a nice little clip here. So I could hand it up if I want to. So let's take a look and see this giant, giant map. So let's move this out of the way for the moment. And take a look at this map. Oh, wow. It is beautiful. It is so, so beautiful. So huge. Wow, look at this. This is nice. Very beautiful. And it's also double-sided, so take a look at this side. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I'm going to love playing with this, that's for sure. Okay, so that's what the play mat looks like. Now let's go ahead and just move this aside and take a look and see what's inside of the box. All right, here we go. Oh, there goes the rule book. Or something like that. Welcoming letter. Um, it looks like it shows you where to put stuff in the dividers for the cards and stuff. And how to put together the player boards and stuff like that, it looks like. Pretty cool. Alright, cool. And then... Some other stuff that you could possibly get for the game, like a dice tray and some card sleeves and a notebook. I've already got a dice tower, so I didn't see the point in getting the dice tray. Plus, I could always buy a dice tray if I need to. I can always use another notebook, you know, pad of paper. And while the sleeves would have been nice, they're not a. It's not a have to. And then here's obviously the some of their other games that they've made, the Dale of Merchants series, for instance, which I have all of, you know, Dale of Merchants. So that's cool. And looks like we've got a, an achievements piece of paper here. Okay, cool. And then the rule book, which I always like to skip. So the rule book. And let's see what else we've got here. Uh, some information. Looks like it's an, an, an aspiring guide to the region of Galzer. Learn about the most famous attractions and spend an unforgettable vacation. Cool. So a traveler's guide. Gotta love that. All right. Let's see here. What do we got here? We got maybe some punch outs. So let's see what we got for punch outs. Okay, so these are punch outs. Try not to punch them out at the moment, but there we go. Then we got some more punch outs with the player boards on them. So these are two of the main characters, uh, Bumir, the marbled polecat, and uh, Moore, the frilled lizard. <laughs> cool, gonna be playing with you quite a bit more. That's for sure. Frilled lizard. Awesome. 
And then we got the other two playable characters. Um, Asila, or Asila, the River Kingfisher. And Kiridai, the Northern Banded Newt. Hmm, I might play with her too, sometimes as well. Who knows? But yeah, all the different punch-outs that are on here as well. Cool, cool. And then this is the board. So if you don't want to play with the playmat or you didn't get the playmat, you would get this board instead, you know, which is obviously massive. We'll take a look at it because it is an unboxing after all. But yeah, here's the board. So you can play with the board and or the playmat, whichever is easier. Of course, I think I'll play with the playmat, but who knows? Might play with the board sometimes too. Cool, very beautiful board and humongous too, very big. Okay, moving on. And then this is probably just to keep stuff in. Okay, here we go. We've got the dice. Look at these dice. So many different dice. Just so many. Beautiful. Different stuff on them. All sorts of stuff. Footprints and things. Masks. Very, very cool. They're all unique and different. Different colors. But very, very cool dice. Very cool. Okay, moving on. Okay, these are the, uh, the little pips that I have to put on the player boards. So that's what these are for. Um, so you can turn the dial on the player boards. Okay, let's see what's in here in this bag here. Okay, we've got some tokens with feathers or something on them. And then in this bag, we actually have the meeples for the four playable characters. So let's take a look at them, right? Okay, so let's see here. We've got, let's do this one at a time. We've got, we've got more, the frilled lizard. Very cool, very cool. We've got another token here that was in the bag. Then we've got uh, the uh, kingfisher here. That's cool. And then we've got the, uh, the marbled pole cat. Very cool. And then we've got the, the newt, Kiridai, the newt as well. Cool. Very cool. All right, so those are the maples. Um, and we've got some other tokens here. Um, not sure what they're all supposed to be, but there's, they're all plastic for sure. So let's take a look. Let's see what we got here. We won't look at all of them, but take a few of them out of the bag. Huh. Don't know what these are all supposed to be for, but they're cool. And they're plastic nonetheless. And they're very colorful. So let's just put those back. Okay, and then we've got extra bags. And then we've got these cards, lots and lots of cards. Um, they're not in the little plastic things, so that's nice. So we should be able to open these up pretty fast. Let's do that. Okay, so here we go, first set of cards. Man, events, events. We won't go, I won't show you every single card in detail because there's just so many cards, but um, if there's something significant or, or cool to look at, we'll, we'll definitely take a look at some of them. Looks like that has to do something with a volcano. There's so much stuff here, just so much stuff. Looks like those are all the same. Underground tunnels. You can pause it to see most of it if you need to. Looks like that's a Gila monster. 
yeah, it even says it, so that's cool. Very cool. Tanuki, koala. Ooh, dwarf crocodile. Very cool. Kakapo. Ooh, a giant tortoise. A red fox. The eye eye. Yeah, so many cards. And some of those are the same. Some of these are the same. Okay, so that's first set of cards opened. Still got lots more to see card-wise. Now the game is a story game, which has to be accessed by an online website. So that'll be interesting um, and different for me since I don't really have any games where I have to have an, a website in order to play. Treasure hunt. These are all treasure hunts. Feather duster. Spyglass. Magnifying glass. Various items. Coffee. Very cool. Marbles. All sorts of stuff. Wanted posters. Terror bird. Dromedary. <laughs> Some more events. Okay, cool. That's another set of cards looked at for the most part. Got more though. Next set of cards, some different types of books by the looks of it. Way of Spies, Bar of Soap. <laughs> some more items, obviously. Promising Lead. Waiting for Court. <laughs> Cool. Snow avalanche. Looks like those are all pretty much the same. Okay, cool. So, still have about five more stacks of cards to look at. Assistant. Oh, and they do have, some of these do have pictures on them. So they must be for the, uh, maybe quests for the different characters. They might have their own quests. Um, and it looks like we have some map cards here too. Stuff on them. And some more cards. Okay, cool. We got more. Okay. Man, my hands are starting to get tired now. So, more map cards by the looks of it. And more quests, I'm guessing. 
more quests that are just for certain characters, maybe. Yeah, there's tons of quests, that's for sure. Or stuff going on, anyway. Cool. Okay, we got some more artwork on these. Adventurous. Harmony. And we got more events. We'll pretty much skip those, because who knows what those are gonna be for anyway. And some more items. Ooh, giant pangolin. Spectacled bear, brown bear, little owl, blue ton skink. Man, the artwork is just amazing. It's so beautiful. Cool. Even if that blue ton skink was a mercenary, he looked cool. And then we've got two more things of cards. Some more quests. Other stuff. More imprisoned cards by the looks of it. Shocked. <laughs> Exhausted. Freezing. <laughs> Afraid. Lots of those. Disheartened. Yeah, he's definitely disheartened. Vigorous, full of energy. Huh. Very cool. Determined. <laughs> More adventurous. Cool. And we still got one more stack of cards to take a look at. Deep Intuition, Soar in the Sky, Power of Mind, different month, all the different months. Cool. So season's gonna have, so something to tell me seasons, the changing in the seasons have a lot to do with this game too. Lots more items. Chocolate cake, a plush parrot toy, an ocarina, <laughs> very cool, soft towel, and it looks like that's all of the cards, a lot of cards to look at, and man, just in the nick of time too, because I don't think I could have done another stack of cards. Oh, anyways, that's everything that's in this box, so that's cool. So if you guys liked my unboxing video, don't forget to leave me a like, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye!